entering the WNBA draft. Clark, who's projected to go number one to the Indiana Fever, holds both the most points in NCAA women's basketball history in the D1 women's basketball scoring records and is 18 points away from passing LSU's Pete Maravich, who holds the D1 overall record between men and women's basketball with 3,667 points. Monica, will Caitlin Clark become the WNBA's biggest star? I don't think we can answer that just yet. I think the curve is real. And while I am thrilled for Caitlin, she's incredible. I am thrilled for the enthusiasm around women's basketball led by her. I do think folks need to continue that fandom into the WNBA and understand that there is a curve. We talk about women that she has passed on this list, uh, Lynette Woodard being the most recent, but Kelsey Plum was also on that list. And KP, shout out to KP, she and I have a special project uh, coming soon with State Farm. Ooh, um, KP will tell you that there was a curve and she was a terrific scorer and now she's a two-time champion with the Las Vegas Aces, but there is a curve. Could Caitlin Clark's stardom translate? Absolutely. Will she be probably an all-star in the league? I believe it will happen. Do I buy that it will necessarily happen immediately? Can't quite get on board with that. But there's no doubt that this young woman is extremely talented, has worked her butt off. The range is there, and you're gonna have to guard that at whatever level um, she's going to play at. So I'm actually really, really excited for all of the enthusiasm and frankly, the marketing to follow her into the WNBA. This is going to be a lot of fun. She's a brilliant talent, and you, you know I know a little bit, and you know, she understands who she is. Mm -hmm. Her family understands who she is. Comes with a lot of responsibility. It's ideal that she's going to Indiana because she's, you know, right in that area, right, right now, you know, in her wheelhouse. And because of that, that goes a long way because of that support. She's going to need it. Why is she going to need it? Because she's going to be a magnetic fixture, a fixture, yep. a figure that people are going to those shrapnels of criticism and skepticism in her direction, despite the fact that she may not deserve it. She is the Steph Curry of women's basketball. She is a marksman. She is a sniper. This girl pulls up from the parking lot, mm. and I love it. And by the way, she's got ball handling skills. She's got passing yep. ability. Um, she, she, she's got the repertoire. But she's coming in understanding she's the package. Mm -hmm. Now, she's got to live up to it. You're absolutely right about that. But the expectation is that she will. Mm -hmm. And so all the things you see from her that extends beyond the court is somebody who is preparing herself, yep. and one would argue is already prepared to deal with all of that. Yeah. She's the real deal. She's the real deal. And, and, and I got to I gotta go see this girl, Juju, from USC. Come on she's now. She's special, too. She's yeah. special, too. I'm just saying, I'm watching it. But Caitlin Clark, oh, my God, the marketing the marketing opportunities coming her way, Lord, have mercy. It's, listen, and she's I gonna think... Put women, she's going to put women's basketball on the map if it ain't already. I, I... I'm with you on that, Stephen A. There has been a little bit of an, a tricky discourse around her and around the women's game, but what I do appreciate is the eyeballs that she's been able to bring. After she uh, crossed Lynette's marker recently, she said thank you to all the women that have come before her to help lay the foundation for what she's doing. So Caitlin gets it. I wish her the best of luck.